Hello everyone, I am Marina Martinez Bateman. I am the CEO of New Coyote Consulting, an equity and communications consulting firm here in the Pacific Northwest. We do things like train people in anti-racist systems and what that even is or would look like. Uh, it's not even Monday, it's Tuesday afternoon. I don't think this is even going up until Wednesday. I am currently grating cheese because um, it's time for lunch and I've been actually pretty good about taking care of myself lately and uh, you know making sure that the things I need happen for me even when things are chaotic which they have been. Uh, I don't know if you heard if you haven't heard if you are looking at this from a different time or a different place but Monday April 11th we had a record-breaking snowstorm in Portland, and um, that, along with several other things, had my household in a tizzy. Um, we had a branch come down on what we were worried was a power line, but turned out not to be, but it was a little bit stressful. Um, it's also tax time. <laughs> People are struggling to get their taxes in, including us. Um, we also got some bad tax news this year. Um, things didn't work out the way we thought they were going to. Uh, it's definitely interesting. I've been talking about how New Coyote had been struggling the first quarter of the year, and now things are going our way in a lot of ways. Um, but there's still just little hits that sort of keep coming, either they're from the period of time that we didn't have money or um, the fact that we're just coming out of a bad time is just not great. Um, but we're okay. We're fine. <laughs> um, I would like things to be easier right now, but they're not. And the truth is that just about every single person I know is overwhelmed. Um, our newsletter went out yesterday. It's actually funny. It doesn't talk about the snow at all because we scheduled it before we knew it was going to be snowing. <laughs> um, but it's, you know, the sentiment is basically like a lot of people are feeling overwhelmed. And I think that this snowstorm just really exacerbated that and brought out a lot of like, you know, it was sort of like the end of a lot of people's ropes. Um, definitely at different times yesterday, mine included. So um, we're great today. We did have some more snow, but it melted immediately. Uh, no more branches came down, no more trees broke. That's good. Um, our power has stayed on, which is good. It was flickering yesterday, which was added to the drama of the tree on the line, but that was actually, the flickering was due to a totally different thing <laughs> that was happening somewhere else. So um, that's my little not Monday update. I will try to make an update later on in the week. I don't really have any intention this week, except the same one I've had, which is to take care of myself and put my needs first and make sure that, just make sure that I'm, re I'm, I'm remembering my context. Certain things are difficult. Certain things are not going my way. And so are a bunch, but then also a bunch of other things are going my way and are easy for me. And I'm not, I feel like I'm focusing on things that aren't going exactly how I want them to go because it feels like I could control the situation or have a sense of control by focusing on those things and like fixing them. Um, but it's just making me feel more stressed out and more scarce. And that is, no matter what the problem is, stress and scarcity are not the solution. So that's going to be my big focus this week is just to try to remember abundance. Um, and, you know, remember to be grateful for everything that is going right for me and everything that I do have. Um, and also to take care of myself. Um, whatever else is going on, um, not taking care of myself is not an option for me. It just really isn't. So remember to have lunch. I will talk to you later this week. And if you don't hear from me later this week, I will talk to you next week. Bye, everyone.